Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are or whenever you're watching this video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. Yes, you might recognize me from three and a half years ago when my family and I sold literally everything we owned, our house, our cars, our companies, went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. In today's video, I will take you to an amazing place you have probably never seen before. I'm going to combine visiting this place with giving you some information about blockchain, Bitcoin and life. Of course, also sharing really cool Bitcoin charts in this video to talk about the bear and the bull scenario. We're going to talk about the RSI and going to talk about the 20 and the 50 MA lines. Amazing charts. You don't want to miss this. Taking a look why the Argentina borders were closed by hackers that are now demanding Bitcoin to reopen the borders of Argentina. And of course, also talking about how now Just Eat in France makes it possible you pay with Bitcoin in more than 15,000 restaurants. And you definitely don't want to miss the place I just visited with my father-in-law and my brother-in-law. Really cool video. Start to watch it. Hey guys, welcome to the world of natural stones and huge blocks. Not the blockchain, block stones, <laughs> like that. We are going to talk today about Bitcoin, blockchain and life, and of course also about natural stones, the business in Spain, one of the biggest export businesses in Spain, and why blockchain could be very handy for these natural stones. I'm going to show you around in this beautiful, how do you call this in English, stone, stone hedge? <laughs> no, not stone hedge. This is stone quarry. My father-in-law was a natural stone uh, man, business owner, and now he's showing me around in this stone quarry, telling me everything about these really cool blocks to give you an indication how big the stone business is. 18 trillion tons were exported from Spain all over the world. 18 trillion tons of natural stone exported all over the world. Can you imagine? how much revenue is going around in this huge business. Trillions of US dollars are being exported in natural stones all over the world from Spain. And I wanna try to tell you why blockchain could be changing this very traditional, very traditional industry for Spain as well. Yes, blockchain is not only changing the monetary system, but it's decentralizing and creating a revolution in many other industries as well. And that's why I wanted to show you this natural stone quarry, but not only from the bottom, also from the top. So I think we're going to go to the top and show you the rest there and talk about natural stones, blockchain and Bitcoin a little bit more. So many blocks, it looks like the blockchain. But how can it keep track of all these blocks? How do you know if you buy natural stone in America from Spain, that's an original stone. I will tell you later because that is exactly where the blockchain comes in. We don't know for sure if we do something legal or illegal over here. 
but what the fuck? We can try. They can only warn us that it's something illegal when we up there. And then we had this beautiful trip with a Jeep. No, <laughs> with a Land Rover. We are now on the top of this quarry, this beautiful natural stone quarry. We were not allowed to go even deeper into the quarry because they were sending us away. But it's a beautiful view as well from here. You can see the surroundings, all beautiful mountains. Um, maybe they will all be well full with these beautiful stones. Talking about blockchain guys, why am I visiting this natural stone industry quarry? To show you something about blockchain because can you imagine how many blocks are being created here every day no not talking about blocks from the blockchain natural stone blocks there is an export of 18 trillion tons per year from Spain you are a buyer somewhere in the United States or somewhere in Australia from these beautiful stains in stone how do you know that's an original stone from Spain if these stones will be registered on the blockchain from the moment they are taken out of the mountains they receive these codes these codes will be put into the blockchain and then you can track the stone from the moment it is taken from the mountain till the moment it arrives at your house so then with a qr code you can scan the package of these stones of these tiles of these huge pallets full of stones that are being used for bank buildings and everything yeah of course bank buildings not long because i think the banks will stop existing in the future but still these stones are being used for beautiful luxury bank buildings and then you can track the stone the delivery back all the way to the mountain where it came from just like the coffee beans starbucks is doing will these natural stones will be tracked all the way from production till delivery or till they are on your beautiful floor in the homes and that is not the only solution that blockchain is providing for these companies we found it that's called stone cash and this stone cash is combining this blockchain project with cryptocurrencies so how would that work so this company up behind me i think it's called levantina this one is one of the uh, natural stone company that is that is taking these stones from the hills and creating blocks out of it and then putting these on export all over the world this company can now put their whole stone stock into this stone cash blockchain project where all natural stone companies from all the world put their stocks on this blockchain project and then the buyers can visit this website and they can select their stones they want to have and pay them directly with stone cash so with cryptocurrencies so this is really this is like diminishing all the problems that these normal stone companies had with sending these stones all over the world waiting for payments out of china out of the united states that can take four or five days before the payment comes in then when the payment is is in you can release the stones to be delivered i think we need to leave here as well because i think there is some uh, people coming now um, so yeah this is the solution that is also providing a real cool solution for companies like levantina so they will start to use these blockchain projects in the future as well and they will use cryptocurrency called stone cash for example to create beautiful solution when it comes to the payment so I think thumbs up for companies like this because it's a huge industry here in Spain. Okay, we need to leave guys <laughs> because some security came. The guy was having a, what, what is the gun called? Smith & Wesson, like a traditional yeah. koi boy gun. I think they still think it's a koi boy time here in Spain. <laughs> they had a koi boy gun, but we need to leave. We are not allowed to film here, but they were very nice. Um, and they will see a very positive video about Levantina of their company. So I think at the end, they don't care that we filmed over here but maybe it's uh, more to do with safety. So we are going to search for another place where we can um, show you a little bit more and where I can talk a little bit more about Bitcoin to you guys. And yes, filming from another angle because we were just sent away by the police over there. Um, 
to end the story about blockchain and natural stones guys it's a cooperation because between the poor blockchain and stone cash so they will create a beautiful business to business platform where you can not only offer your stone stock but where you can also in log in as a buyer and when you buy stones you can even pay them directly with cryptocurrency really cool solution really cool blockchain solution and a very traditional industry of natural stones that was the whole blockchain stone business guys yes cool huh didn't see that ever before i didn't see these machines nothing of this before so it was really cool for me as well let's talk about bitcoin guys now i have some amazing charts to share with you guys the bitcoin price is now hovering around 10,250 us dollar per bitcoin yes that's much lower than the 12k a lot of wind hopefully the sound is still good but it's really cool that we bounce from the 9,800 support back again to 10,200 levels where we are now. But we could still fall all the way down to 8,700 guys. And why? This is the reason why. I'm going to share this chart with you guys. Check this chart. Bam! This one. On this chart, you can see the 20 week moving average and the 50 week moving average. The 20 week moving average is the green one and the 50 week moving average is the blue one, guys. These two moving average on the weekly chart are very important to look at. Like you can see, guys, this 20 and 50 week moving average have crossed many times in the past. But during the bull run, the 20 MA is always above this 50 MA. But there have been many moments in the past, as you can see on the chart, if you look to the left, that when the Bitcoin price breaks the 20 MA, it finds support on the 50 MA. So when it breaks this green line, green line, it finds support on this blue line. Like you can see, exactly that happened in 2018. At the moment, we are testing this 20 MA, this green line. So if we would be able to bounce off this 20 MA, then again, this 20 weekly moving average has proven to be a very important support line for Bitcoin, like you can see when you look to the left. Even in the bull run of 2017, we went up many times, but we did a few times retest this 20 MA. So if we would break this 20 MA support line, then we could fall down all the way to the 50 MA line. And this 50 MA line at the moment is around 8,600 US dollar per Bitcoin. So yes, it is possible, but I don't expect it. I expect that we bounce from this 20 MA line up again towards 12K ASAP, please. <laughs> so that brings me to a chart that is showing you the bullish and the bearish scenario at the same time. Let's take a look at this chart. Bam! On this chart, you see this blue horizontal line. This is the consolidation line. This is the line we are now hovering around, 10,200 US dollar. This horizontal blue line. This is a consolidation line between 9,500 and 10,000 US dollar, the area we are moving now. If we could use this consolidation line as a support area, so going sideways around this area, and then go up again, you can see the bullish scenarios we can expect. But if we break down of this consolidation area, if we break down downwards, then you can also see the bearish scenarios we can expect. And these bearish prices are around 7,200 US dollar and even around 5,500 US dollar. Again, I don't believe this is going to happen. But if we would break this area, this blue line, or below 9,500, we could fall all the way down to even 5,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. I don't believe this because then the miners and the exchanges will not be making profit. So I think we will hold this consolidation line and we will go upwards from here. We also refer to this as a support resistance flip. So if you look to this line and you look to the left on the chart, you can see a lot of blue arrows. These blue arrows show you the support and the resistance times of this line. So you can see this is a very important line in the past. If you look to the left, you can see exactly what happened. You can see in the last 10 arrows, about five of these arrows were showing resistance and four of them were showing support. If this line is showing support now again, guys, then the bull targets will be 13,000, next up 
15,000, next up 17,600 US dollar per Bitcoin. So let's see what is going to happen in this week because this line has been very important in the past and we will see if it now will acting as a support line or it will become a new resistance line. I believe it will be acting as a support line. We will bounce from this line up again and we will see these beautiful prices of 13, 15 and even $17,000 per Bitcoin in this year. Then there is another chart, this one, very cool chart. Bam, this one, this chart is the RSI chart. On this chart, you can see that the RSI has very often predicted what happened to the Bitcoin price. So you can see the RSI, this is this, this line going like this, and then you can see all these vertical colorful lines. The main number to look out for in the RSI is the 55 level. This level is the most important level in the RSI, 55. So if you look at these vertical lines, you can see these green lines. This means that the RSI crossed above the 55 level. You can see the red lines. This is indicating that the RSI crossed below the 55 level. And you can see the blue lines. These are indicating the bounces from this 55 level. Yes, bounces downwards, but also bounces upwards. So these blue lines are the lines we need to look at at the moment. We are now nearing this 55 level again, this 55 line in the RSI. So we are expecting now a bounce or a break of this 55 level. If we will bounce from this 55 level, from this 55 level, we will be doing the same exactly that we did in 2017 when we bounced six times from this level during the bull run. So six times in 2017 bull run, bouncing from this 55 level indicated that we will sell in the bull run. So if you would bounce from this 55 level now again in 2020, that would be the first blue line in 2020 showing us a bounce from this 55 level. And guys, this is a weekly chart, so keep in mind, it's not happening tomorrow or the day after, it's a weekly chart. So this week, we could still bounce from this 55 level, which means that the Bitcoin price will follow as well. So very, very cool chart, very cool indicator. So keep watching this RSI in the weekly chart, but it, because this is a beautiful indicator as an investor, what will happen to the Bitcoin price in the next couple of weeks or months. And yes, of course, one more chart. Oh my God, Didi, you're always bombing us with these charts. Yes, that's my passion. I bomb you with charts. <laughs> so this chart, bomb. This chart is comparing the 2015 bull run. Yes, it started all the way in 2015 when it was just a few hundred dollars per Bitcoin to 2018 to the all time high. This one is comparing now to the 2020 bull run. As you can see, we had a descending trend line in 2015 that we broke. And when we broke this descending trend line, we retested this descending trend line. You can see the yellow dot over there. This is exactly when we did the retest, when we saw an 8,000% bull run after. Now in 2020, we did the same. We have this descending trend line all the way from the all-time high to the year today. And then we broke this trend line a month ago, and now we are retesting this trend line. So this is an exact copy of what happened in 2015. Maybe it will also be an exact copy of what will happen after. I don't believe we will see an 8,000% bull run, but you know, I would already be, already be happy with a 2,000% bull run that can follow after breaking and retesting this huge descending trend line so that was all the bitcoin information then there's two small short news guys some hackers did disrupt the whole argentina border system because they hacked the border system and they asked ransom and of course a ransom in bitcoin they want four million us dollar in ransom uh, because else they won't open the system anymore if they don't open system then argentina would be locked down by hackers instead of covid really funny <laughs> and these really funny things happening in these times but of course these hackers ask bitcoin as ransom maybe they should have asked monero maybe they should have had verge or any other privacy currency but they did ask bitcoin against really strange news hackers closing argentina and not covid doing this and one more news just eat huge website in france is now accepting bitcoins for payments for all the food you can order food in 15,000 restaurants in France now and pay with Bitcoin. Not only eat in the restaurant, they also deliver at your home. So you can order at 15,000 restaurants in France now and pay with Bitcoin. How beautiful do you want to have it? This was all the news for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, 
share it with your communities, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified on every new video. I want to thank you for watching this video today again and please remember to always zoom out in crypto and zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what makes life worth living. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye!